Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to add and customize bubbles in the Syncfusion Angular Maps component. Look at this example, here a world map displays bubbles that provide information about the top 10 countries having the highest number of internet users. These bubbles are differentiated by color and have custom sizes. Let's start by adding code to show and customize bubbles in Angular Maps. First, I'll open an existing application where I have already added the Angular Maps component with basic properties. Elements in the map will be rendered in layers, so I add a layer collection to the maps by using the layers property. I've included a GeoJSON data of the world map in the maps layer. The shape data property is used to identify the geographical shape information available in the GeoJSON data. I have also applied custom fill colors to the map elements. To learn more about integrating the maps component into an Angular application, please check the getting started video linked in the card above and the description below. Let me run this application using the command ng-serve. Here the map is rendered based on the GeoJSON data. Let's see the steps to show bubbles in the map elements. First, I need to import the maps and bubble module from the Syncfusion EJ2 Angular Maps package. Next, I inject the bubble module into the maps component. Then, add the bubble settings under the layers option which is mapped to the layers property of the map component. And I enable the visible property to display the bubbles. Now, I need to populate the data source to add bubbles. I'm going to represent countries with the highest number of internet users using the bubbles. So, let me define an object, bubble data, with fields like country name, value, color, and population. A couple of minutes into the video, I will demonstrate how to use the color field from the data source to set custom colors for the bubbles. Additionally, I will also show you how to utilize the population field when grouping the bubbles. Assign this data to the data source property of bubble settings property. After the data source is added, I need to map the data source field, country name, to the name field value in this world map JSON file. To do that, I add the shape data path property and set it to country name. Next, to map the numerical data source field, value, I add the value path property and assign the field value. Additionally, I declare the title settings object and set the title as top 10 countries with highest internet users using the text property. Assign this variable to the title settings of the maps component. You can see the Angular Maps component rendering the world map's geographic shape, along with bubbles that represent the top 10 countries having the highest number of internet users. By default, the bubble type is set to circle. To change the type to square, add the bubble type property and set it to square within the bubble settings. Now, you will notice that the map is displayed with square bubbles. Next, let me show you how to customize the bubbles on the map. This component provides the flexibility to customize various aspects of the map elements, such as the fill color, opacity, animation delay, and animation duration. If you want to apply a custom color, add the fill property and set a custom color to it. To change the animation duration, set the animation duration property to 1000 milliseconds. Check now, the animation duration and color of the bubble elements have changed. By default, the size of the bubbles is calculated based on the value path property. To set a custom size, I set the min radius property to 3 pixels and the max radius property to 15 pixels.
Here, you can see the map displaying bubbles with custom sizes. Next, I'll show you how to set colors to the bubbles from the data source. Here, I already added one more field color with an appropriate value to this data source. So, I'll assign this color field to the color value path property to set colors for the bubbles. As I define the bubble color from the data source, I will comment out the fill property from the bubble settings. When you look at the map elements, you'll notice bubbles in different colors based on the data source field. Now, let's move on to adding multiple groups of bubbles to the Angular Maps component. To do that, I'll define one more object inside the Maps Bubble Settings property. And, copy and paste properties like Data Source, Visible, and Color Value Path with appropriate values from the existing Bubble Settings object. Here, I map the population field for this bubble group by adding the value path property. To differentiate bubble groups, I provide different minimum and maximum radius values. Also, add the opacity property and set the custom value 0.4 and change the bubble type to circle in the first bubble group. Here, you will observe the map displaying two types of bubbles with color variations. The light-colored bubbles represent the population, while the dark-colored bubbles represent internet users. Next, I'll show you how to add tooltips to bubble maps while hovering over the countries. Open the app module page, import the maps tooltip service from the Angular Maps package, and inject it into the provider's array of the ng module. In the app component TS page, inside this bubble settings property, I include tooltip settings and set the visible property to true. I also set the value path with an appropriate data source field name to show the internet users count in the tooltip. At last, I comment out the code related to multiple groups of bubbles in the map for clarity. When you see the output, tooltips are shown for every data point on the map. Finally, I'll show you how to format tooltips. I plan to display the country name and count of internet users in the tooltip. So, I define the format property and use the data source field's country name and value to it. Look at the map now, the tooltip shows the country name and count of internet users for every data point on the map. Let me recap. I showed you how to add bubbles to the Angular Maps component, change the bubble type, customize the bubbles, add tooltips, and format them. You can download a working example of this from the GitHub link in the description for this video. I've also included a link where you can see if you're eligible for our community license, which will provide you with a free license key to use our products. Thank you for watching. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel.